Well, Penny, you just spoke about how many cameras there are. What was it like for you to be a part of this experience? Um, I look at you, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wherever you like. <laughs> um, well, after a tough house, you're kind of used to it. Uh, the first week was kind of weird, like you went everywhere and the camera was after you. As soon as you had like an interesting conversation, everybody was after you, but um, kind of used to it now. It's okay. It's cool. Going forward into the finale, uh, obviously, you know, you've been had time to kind of size up your opponent. So now that you have the name there, what, what is it like for you to go in there and be able to... Well, we knew right after that we were going to fight each other, but uh, I mean, I think it's cool. We both know each other. We both know our strengths and our um, weaknesses. So it's nothing like that I don't know about her. She doesn't know, you know, anything new about me. So I just think it's cool. It's not like a usual thing that you get to train, uh, fight somebody you train with anyway. So I think it's good. When you were on the show, like, were you kind of just sizing up everyone, regardless of if they were a teammate or not? I knew coming into the show that me and her would be the best one there. I knew. So I already knew that if I just uh, keep my focus and win my fights, we will meet in the finale. Well, it seems like you're very familiar with her, and so she's probably very familiar with you. Does yeah. that make it a little bit tougher preparing for a fight, knowing that your opponent might mm -hmm. know where you're good and where your strengths are or do you hold something back throughout the season and in preparation for it? Um, the only thing I hold back in, in training is I don't I, I do all my stuff that I like to do. I just don't go 100% like maybe in sparring or anything like that because I'm like personally for myself, I don't want to do it because I don't want to injure myself or injure my training partner. So that's the only thing I'm holding back. But um, actually, I think this benefits both of us. Uh, we have nothing to hide, so. Would you say you're the more technical fighter? Maybe she relies more upon her heart to get her through fights? I think I have I think I have the heart more in the, techni uh, in the technical aspects, but I think she has power and strength, okay? I think, like, every fighter has heart, but, I mean, as soon as I smell blood, I feel like, you know, it's uh, whatever, whatever it takes. I need to get through this, even though I get, like, yeah, if I get in a bad position or whatever, I just, um, if I don't have any more like, cardio in me or anything, I just use heart, I just, like, Go full blast. <laughs> you fought some at bantamweight, some at featherweight. Yeah. What's your intention when you get into the UFC? Where would you stay? Where would you want to fight? Where are you more comfortable? Um, I mean, if the right fight is there, I don't mind staying. Uh, I'm not a true believer in that you need to be the biggest or the mo the person that cuts the most weight to stay at the, at a weight class. I fight wherever I want, and if I feel like fighting my 45 now, I want 35 later, and maybe my 35 if I want 45 again. Uh, basically, whatever they want me to do, do it. I don't mind fighting in both classes. And I remember you told me before that you're not afraid of cyborg at all. Like, you, you no, I mean you. she's human. I mean she's the best fighter. But she's not going to stick around for that long, you know. She's, you know, she's fought, fought for a long time, and if we can get the chance, of course. I mean, this is just business. I mean, uh, I like her as a person. I like her as a fighter. She's the fighter I look up to most of everybody. But like I said, I'm just like um, I'm here to I'm here to showcase myself too. I'm sure you've had plenty of time to play this fight out in your head. Yeah. What do you need to do to get your hand raised at the end of the night, and how do you see it uh, playing out for you? I just need to stay true to my style and don't 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 focus on anything my opponent does. Uh, the thing I do, I I'm really good at reading my opponent right away, and I take my time. Uh, I have a unique style, and I think I'm an entertaining fighter. So I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go to war. You're gonna have a lot of friends and families showing up for the event. I actually have uh, my my uh, my boyfriend. That's basically my coach as well. My team, my stepmom uh, is here for both my my dad too because he couldn't uh, get in the country. But he she's here supporting me. Uh, she was actually here with me for my first ever tryout in 2013. So it's pretty cool having her here as well. Cool. Good. 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 Thank you so Thank much. You. Okay, Goodbye. cool. Thank Perfect. you.